Just the other week, I did a video about this Yakima tailgate pad, about how easy it was to use and what a great option it was. But I did receive a comment that if you're too short to set your bike over the back of the tailgate, that this actually isn't a good solution. So the alternative solution to using a tailgate pad is to use a hitch mounted rack. And today we're gonna go over the one up double bike rack. It has two rails, one rail for each bike. One up makes numerous configurations. You can get a single rail, you can get a heavy duty, super duty. So a couple basic features of the rack is bike rails here. You have a single rail here, a single rail here. Basic functions of this rack, release, slide it over. Do the same thing on the other side, release, slide it over. So in real time, let's set the Santa Cruz up on the bike rack and see what the process looks like. Then once the bike is in there, you just snug it up a little bit, a couple clicks, and now you're, you're set to go. That can't go anywhere. It's, it's pressured from both sides. So what this rack does differently is that you have multiple locking options. So this bike rack has two different lock sizes. One is a shorter one that is specifically for the actual rack into the hitch itself. You get a couple more of these, which I definitely recommend. And what this does is it locks the front wheel or and or the back wheel into the rack itself. So it has a simple key lock system. Let's unlock it. And just like that, your bike is locked into the rack and they're gonna have to, you know, there's no easy way to cut this. And especially if you want to be really secure, you can put one on the front and one on the back, or you can get a cable system and run it through and around here as well, whatever you prefer. But this really will deter most of the people. Now getting the bike back off, let's do it in real time and show you the process. So we have our bike lock on the front. Undo that. All you have to do is give a little pressure in and release. The other side is gonna hold the bike in place. And then just grab the tire, roll it back. And then from there, you can grab the bike. So when the rack is not being needed, but you wanna leave it on the truck, cause you can have it locked in there. No one's gonna be able to get it off of here. You have a couple different options. You don't have to drive with it like this. You can have it up just like that. And it's very solid. This doesn't shake. This is one of the best things about this rack is that I've had motorcycle racks that go into the hitch and they wobble and the bike's all over the place, but you're gonna move the truck before you move the bike. So when the rack is in this position, you don't want it to come down. It's not going to come down without intention anyways, the way it's set up. However, you can twist this right here. And now this hitch is locked in place. So if you, the tailgate pad isn't for you for one reason or another, or if you need the extra security, this one up bike rack is great. I have the link to it down below. We've enjoyed having it. It's made road trips much more peaceful, peace of mind. On top of that, it looks great and it's a very, very solid piece of equipment. 100% would recommend. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more, but that's gonna wrap up this one. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.